Hi, I'm Christina and I'm a light painter photographer. Shining light where there is darkness. Today I'm going to demonstrate how to do light painting photography with a blade guide. I developed this tool to help with my creative creatures, which are created with the placement of various plexiglass tools. Before we get started, I want to explain how this technique evolved. I used to use models. But I found that there were limitations to using a model, such as it was very cold, they would have to stand motionless for a long time, and so I came up with this fixed blade guide idea. And I found that the shapes are infinite. You can be as creative as you want using a fixed blade guide. I'm going to demo the first blade guide I created, which is the Flower of Peace. To create this guide, you will need the following materials. Map board or cardboard, an X-Acto knife, a black stand that will hold your blade guide, the unicorn and feather plexiglass blade. You'll need a purple hooded gel. These tools can be purchased at www.lightpaintingbrushes.com. In addition, you will need a purple and yellow gel and three soon fire flashlights, black duct tape, a camera with a wide angle lens, cable release, and tripod. Depending upon your blade guide design, you can use any color combination and any plexiglass blade. Another website where you can go to purchase light blades is www.lightblades.com. They have many good blade designs, which I highly recommend. Or you can create your own. You're going to want to follow these steps. First, you're going to want to make your blade guide design. For the flower of peace design, I took a large piece of cardboard and I laid my feather plexiglass tool on the cardboard and I traced it going in a circular pattern and I used the plexiglass tool as a size guide. Try to make your design symmetrical. Then you want to cut this out with a really sharp X-Acto knife and then I recommend that you spray paint it black if you're using cardboard. Once you're done with that, then you're going to want to secure the blade guide to the top of your light stand using black duct tape. Set up your tripod, your camera, and cable release. And start with these settings. ISO of 100, F10, and you want to have your camera set to bulb. Focus on your template and set your lens to manual focus. Now we're ready to start. You want to break it into three parts. You want to first test the flower, the trails, and then you want to light your environment. Determine your flashlight power output in combination with your f-stop and ISO. Once you've done that, then you can combine all three parts into one image. Create one exposure. For my flower of peace image, here is specifically what I did. First I started by creating the flower design. I placed the feather plexiglass along each of the petals and I determined how many times I needed to go around to make a full circle. I went around the design eight times. Then I filled in between with the unicorn tool a total of 11 times. As you move around, turn the flashlight off and on quickly by doing a partial impression and keep your tool as still as possible. I use the soon fire flashlight because I can easily turn it off and on at the end of the flashlight. It has a rubber button that is easy to compress. I use the unicorn blade to make the light trail. I turn the flashlight on while it's behind the blade guide and then move it in front of the light stand to hide the stand and also to create the light trail. I repeat this process many times overlapping the light trails. I did between 20 and 25 light trails starting at the bottom of the flower and moving out in front and also to the sides. I lightly stop the unicorn blade placing the tip on the ground and I turn it off and start over. I try to do an even amount on both sides. And finally, depending upon your location, you will use the hooded gels to light your environment. In this image here, I'm at a Buddhist temple. I lit up the entire building on the right and left sides, making sure to disperse the light evenly, not just at the bottom of the building, but also at the top of the temple. I did one final wave-like trail of light, starting on the right, moving across to the left, with the flashlight on strobe, using the feather tool and a purple gel. Any ambient light is then also captured in the exposure. Thus, you see the night sky and the tree silhouetted against the sky. 
The Flower of Peace was my first blade guide design. I have created a few more, which has led to my Creative Creatures series. Strong, feminine creatures who rule the darkness and shine light. Don't forget to like my post and subscribe to my channel, Christina the Light Painter. I can also be found on Instagram at Christina the Light Painter and also on Facebook under Selena's Light Painter. My web address is selinaslightpainterphotography.com.